We're going to be giving the biggest concert in the school's history. We're going to fall on our asses in front of the whole world. Ningstead has the voice. With him, we can sing anywhere. Your clock is ticking, kid. Your clock is ticking too, old man. Put everything you are into it. You can't do this. You're doing all right, Stay. You just keep going. Wait for it. You all are going to knock it out of the ballpark. Don't forget to smile. Welcome to Covered Uncut. Dustin Hoffman has a new film in UK cinemas at the moment called The Quiet and he's been out promoting it and he did an interview in The Independent which has managed to make international headlines. He was talking about the general state of the film industry and he said, I think right now television is the best that it's ever been and I think that it's the worst that film has ever been. In the 50 years that I've been doing it, it's the worst. He goes on to say that it's hard to believe that you can do good work for the little amount of money these days. We did The Graduate and that film still sustains. It had a wonderful script that they spent three years on and an exceptional director with an exceptional cast and crew. But it was a small movie, four walls and actors, that's all. And yet, it was a hundred days of shooting. The article goes on to say that nowadays most films that aren't comic strip or sort of robot action movies are made in around 20 days. And part of the reason for this, according to the article, is that digital technology enables filmmakers to shoot more scenes in a day than they used to, and it has to do with the downsizing of budget as more and more films get made. So you read that article and it's saying, well, things in the film world are worse now than they've ever been, which is kind of the equivalent of saying, you know, when I were a kid, it was all fields around here. And this really got under my skin, because as far as I'm concerned, Things in the film world are actually really exciting at the moment. I mean, right now, I'm working on doing my top 10 and worst 10 films of the year so far. And as I experienced last year, I'm having real trouble whittling down my choices for the best movies because there are so many good movies that I've seen this year. I mean, just think about it. I've talked on this blog about Girlhood, terrific film from France. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, an American-Iranian film that really kind of redefines the vampire genre. From the UK recently, we've had Second Coming. We've had Carol Morley's The Falling, which I think is an absolutely marvellous film. If you look at the most recent Oscar ceremony in the best animated feature category, we had the box trolls up against the tale of the Princess Kaguya and Song of the Sea, all of which are really really world-beating animations, and I think some of the high watermarks of the genre. Then look back at what happened last year, again when I was trying to whittle things down for my best of the year list. I was facing Babadook from Australia, Boyhood from America, from the UK, Bell, and Frank, an extraordinary piece of work, and under the skin, I mean, yes, flawed, but something that we really should be celebrating. And look around the world, recently from Poland, we've had Ida, from Germany, we've had Stations of the Cross, from Mexico, we've had Heli, from Turkey, we've had Winter Sleep. These are really remarkable films that I think are as good as anything that has been released in the history of cinema. You know, it really bothers me when people say that filmmaking has got worse, that it isn't like it used to be, that oh, back in the old days, you know, films were better and books were better and music was better. No, they weren't. At any one time, there are pretty much an equal number of good and bad movies, but it just so happens that in the past few years, here in the UK, we have seen the release of some extraordinary international cinema. This is not the time to be saying filmmaking is worse than it's been in 50 years. This is exactly the time to say there are major changes afoot. 12 Years a Slave was an extraordinary Oscar win. More and more women filmmakers are managing to get their films properly distributed in cinemas, and more and more young filmmakers are managing to get their vision on screen thanks to digital technology. Dustin, the problem is not filmmaking, the problem is Hollywood, and probably you.